Whenever we talk about vapor pressure, we talk about a closed system. A closed system is a system in which no mass leaves the system. So no molecules leave the system. Now we also talk about two phases being present in the system, either liquid and gas or solid and gas. Now imagine we had a closed container, and in this container we had a vacuum, and we could somehow inject a liquid into this vacuum. So we have empty space and we have the liquid on the bottom. Now any of these molecules at any given time has some kinetic energy. Now if the kinetic energy is high enough, they can escape the liquid phase and become a gas molecule. And this is called evaporation. Condensation is the opposite. It's the process by which gas molecules hitting the surface of the liquid get stuck in the liquid. Now when the rates of evaporation equal condensation, the state is at equilibrium. And when the state is in the equilibrium, we can measure the pressure exerted by the gas molecules on the walls of the container, and this pressure is called vapor pressure. So vapor pressure, by definition, is the pressure exerted by gas molecules that are in equilibrium with their liquid or solid state. And at this point, the rate of molecules leaving the solid or liquid state is equal to the rate at which they enter that state. Now from everyday experience, we know a hot liquid will evaporate quicker than a cold liquid. And this is because vapor pressure is, is related to kinetic energy and temperature. This equation shows exactly that. This equation shows that if we increase temperature, we will increase the partial pressure. And that means we have more kinetic energy. The more kinetic energy we have, the more molecules we have that will leave the liquid state and travel into the gas state. Volatility is the ability of molecules to evaporate. So a volatile substance will evaporate quickly. An example of one is alcohol. Non-volatile substances are those molecules that will not evaporate quickly. Boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid equals atmospheric pressure. At this point, more liquid molecules have a higher kinetic energy and therefore more likely to escape into the gas state. Melting point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid equals the vapor pressure of the solid. At this point, more solid molecules have more kinetic energy and therefore are more likely to escape into the liquid state. Intermolecular bonds are those bonds, non-covalent bonds, that hold molecules together in the liquid and solid state. Strong intermolecular bonds will require more energy and a higher temperature to break. That means the boiling point will increase. That's why alcohol, which has very weak intermolecular bonds, will boil at a lower temperature than, say, water, which has very strong intermolecular bonds.